had a career within policing for 27 years, held the rank of uh, detective inspector. I've met some horrible people. Horrible, evil, nasty pieces of work. I'd like to think that within five minutes of speaking to you, I know if you're a nonce or not, but before any of that, roll intro. <laughs> Bonjour les poules. Where are you? There's no one in. I move out of the way. You're in the shop. Good morning. From the southwest of France, Department 16. That's your aunt. I don't know why I've been followed by the chickens, but uh, yeah, they're thick, aren't they? Anyway. <laughs> I've got a few replies to you from the yeah, from the questions and the comments from yesterday's video. Why do I not put a car in the garage? Do I have a garage? Right. Uh, yeah, I do. Uh, I have a garage. Um, it was built in 1980 uh, and it's attached to the side of the house with breeze block. We're going to paint it at some point once we get permission from the Mary. Um, and why don't we put the car in there? Motorbike the wasn't cheap and it only weighs 208 kilo wet. Um, so it's quite easy to lift up. Uh, so putting it in a lockable garage makes sense. Whereas uh, the car, it's got all the gibbons on it. It's got all the the alarms and stuff like that. So, so so that can stay outside. But thanks for the question. The 405 euros that lease is being charged for a carte de séjour seems like it's down to a late application, which it was. Which wasn't really our fault because it was a bit like the chicken and the egg where we couldn't get the carte de séjour until we had the carte vitale couldn't get the car vitale until we, until we had the car de séjour. And so there's a lot of faffing around. And as a result, we've been penalised to the sum of 405 euros. Amazing. And thanks for ask, asking, uh, thanks for answering the questions around uh, the most famous people that, um, yeah, that you've met. Um, I, think, I think the winner by far has got to be um, from Cathy Green. You met the Queen. You can't beat that. Somebody asked whether we've got brushes for the horse. Yeah, we do. Gets brushed every day. And then uh, not long after, he rolls around in the dirt. So, uh, but he'll still be brushed every day. Another question uh, was, are we sticking with a French lesson? The shorter answer is no. Um, we weren't getting much from it, to be honest with you. It was uh, teaching us like, formal educational standard French. Whereas uh, we want to know more how normal French people speak. And uh, we've um, not fully immersed ourselves, uh, but we've got... A few French friends, uh, yeah, that we talk to, uh, and that we speak in French, uh, well, as much as we can anyway. But uh, yeah, so uh, in, in, in short answer, no, we've stopped them. And I did get a um, a nice kind email from a from a gent called uh, Guy, who was a bit concerned about uh, on the videos me placing landmarks um, where people can find out where I live. Now, yes, I have an ang an anxiety disorder. Um, people knowing where I live um, doesn't trigger that anxiety. Um, everyone knows where, uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm not comparing myself. I'm hyperbolizing. Um, you know, people know where George Michael's old house was. People know where Ricky Gervais's house is. People know where all the Rolling Stones live and stuff like that. You know, if people want to find you. Yeah, they'll find you. Um, you know, so trying to anonymize my house is not going to happen. Plus, the episode of A Place in the Sun. Um, is going to be aired next uh, next month. And they more or less give you the grid reference number for our house. So uh, to, to keep it a secret is going to be uh, impossible and naive. But uh, but thanks for the concern anyway. And I've got I've got nobody in my past, I don't think, that, want to, that wants to cause me harm. So, uh, yeah, so please don't worry. Please don't worry. Anyway, normally weekend videos of these, quite long. Uh, because I'm filming over three days, uh, Saturday, Sunday, and, and Monday. Um, I have a feeling, and I say this all the time, that this isn't going to be a very long video because I'm not doing much. Um, certainly not doing much today. We got friends coming around with their with their children. Lisa's uh, doing a uh, a buffet. I suppose you, you could call it uh, an apero. Um, so so that's happening today. Um, it's not going to set to rain uh, after today, but the weather is pretty miserable and dull. 
Um, yeah, so... Oh, and I'm doing the live tomorrow. Yeah, so y- you would have already either seen the live or uh, or have missed it. Um, I'm, that's just somebody... And, uh, and forgive me, if I forget your name. Uh, I want to say, it's, is it Ray? I don't know. Um, who obviously li- live on the other side of the world, saying that if, if, if we can do the live on the Saturday in future... Um, they will make an effort to get up at three o'clock in the morning, um, their time, to do the live and then go back to bed and recover on the Sunday. I think that's really, really generous. So I think um, Sunday's one will be the last one that we'll do on a Sunday and I'll, and I'll do the, the future ones on a Saturday. Not that I would ever expect anyone, anyone to be get up at three o'clock in the morning to, so, to talk to, to some daft sod about living in France. That just makes stuff off as, yeah, as he goes along. Anyway... So whatever next is, let's do that. Right, well, I'll tell you what next was. It was me getting my hair cut, which I forgot, because I'd set the wrong reminder on Alexa. Anyway, um, yeah, we're going to bring the horse up. Let's do that. Well, Lee. Well, Lee. He's coming. No. <laughs> no. Because I've never done it before. Right. I will watch and learn. It's easy enough. Oh, I'm touching the, uh, the wire. You good boy. Right, he's in without uh, without issue. Problem is, is when um. <laughs> We take him back out later because it's going to be nice. He gets all excited about going back to his field. So uh, yeah, I think he's managing. Anyway, see you in a bit. Yeah, so yeah, I don't know whether you can hear that. We've we've got people uh, here still. Uh, we're all drinking, apart from uh, Camille who is pregnant and Andy, her partner, her husband who's also not drinking, to support her, which is amazing. Uh, So, I'll see you tomorrow. No need for coats today. had a decent Saturday night. I learned how to screen grab stuff from YouTube. <laughs> um, I don't know whether I'm going to get a copyright strike for that better music. I've tried to search for it. I've no idea what it is. It was your mum fish. Yeah, so we had a great night last night. Um, all the kids enjoyed themselves. Um, there was loads of food. Lisa did a really good job. And um, yeah, we got a little bit drunk. Anyway, I'm doing the uh, I'm doing the live tonight. I want to give a special shout out to Stuart. Stuart, I believe, is uh, from Australia. I did mention him yesterday. I think I called him Ray, <laughs> but it's not. It's Stuart. And uh, because he really wants to get involved in the live, he's gone to bed. 
7.35 Australian time, I think it is. Just so we can be up, uh, I think it's for, for 3 a.m. his time. Just so they can get involved. How amazing is that? Good morning, sunshine. I hardly get um, you're serious on this channel. It's all fun. It's a video diary, isn't it? Um, hardly ever get political. Only when you get annoyed, forget a uh, forget a troll. But I was going to talk briefly about Philip Schofield. Um, so, for those of you that are outside the UK and don't know Scof, uh, he was previously. National Treasure. I started off doing a uh, kids' TV programs. He had Gordon the Gopher. Wet, wet, wet. But I think um, I think we'll do our final letters spot. You and I, Gordon. I think we'll do the last one together. He's um, just here. He's got he's got something to celebrate with after the program. It's um, cactus juice, champagne. In the broom closet, broom cupboard. Uh, and he'd introduced TV, uh, children's TV. He progressed onto uh, adult. Uh, TV and then uh, for many years hosted a daytime show called This Morning. Sorry. Yes, oh good luck with that. God. Time now for. <laughs> You're right, Dr. Chris. I've <laughs> 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 given Wally an apple and now he uh, keeps nudging me for more. So, yeah, uh, he comes across on TV as a really nice, likeable, yeah, friendly fella. Obviously, everyone's got an ego, everyone's got a facade to some degree. I'd like to think uh, that I'm a good judge of character. He came across as a decent bloke. But then he, he fell from grace, in my opinion, in a very, very unfair way. Basically, a number of years ago, uh, he came out as gay. He was married to his wife, and is still his wife, I believe. And uh, everyone supported him. His uh, family, friends, people in the, in the, in the TV community supported him then his brother was convicted of being a paedophile that's not his fault and uh, and as a result he was let go from tv and then it came out that um he the paper said it he groomed but he then got into a to a gay relationship with a man man much younger than him and people started uh Blighting him with the uh, with the same sort of accusations as his brother, and uh, he went into hiding. Anyway, the reason why I mention it is because there's a, a show on Channel Five called Castaway, and he's on it. It was weird because I wake up early because I I get bad nightmares, um, and I normally research a load of rubbish. And it popped into my head, thought, whatever happened to Philip Schofield? Because this was like a couple of years ago. And I googled it and they said that this program came out on the 30th of September. So your Salisa and I watched it and it's in a three-parter. And basically he was sent to Madagascar or small island off Madagascar or was it Madagascar? I don't know. Uh, for 10 days with just him, camera equipment and he and he documents his journey, how he was treated and um, how TV was his life, um, that um, he felt lots of wrongs would have bestowed upon him. Sorry, I've got the horse nudging me again. And uh, as I said, I like to think that I'm a good judge of character. But for those of you that know, I had a career within policing for 27 years held the rank of a uh, detective inspector and that career spanned four separate decades. Who would subject a middle-aged man to such a shocking ordeal? Why choose Wadhurst? Had they come here with this in mind? Crucially, we need to know where they went next. I've met some horrible people. Horrible, evil, nasty pieces of work. 
I'd like to think that within five minutes of speaking to you, I know if you're a nonce or not. I know that there's a, a few um, ex-retired prison officers um, that have got that that extra sense yeah, that, that you, you, you develop over time. And they may or may not agree with me. Skill, but Philip Schofield, he's not a child sex offender. He's not a paedophile. And for those of you that are in any doubt, it's not a pity party, what he does. But go and take a look, if you can. Channel 5, Cast Away, with Philip Schofield. I've been cast away on a desert island. It's my chance to tell my side of my story. I know what I did was unwise, but is it enough to absolutely destroy someone? Right, well, he's still following me around. <laughs> Bless him. Um, we did we did take him up yesterday because it was raining and then we brought him back down last night and he loves it down here um, today Sunday tomorrow the people from the SPA are coming around to uh, to do a site visit and uh, to see whether it's going to be suitable for another horse to come here I'm walking around in circles because Wally keeps seeing me walking towards the exit and keeps shepherding me in the opposite direction. Anyway, I have no idea what next is, but whatever it is, let's do that. Let's get on with the live. It leaves one last thing left to say from us. Should we have to say laters after three? Yeah? One, two, two three. three. Laters. laters! So good afternoon. <clears throat> um, yeah. I know there's something I've, I've got to do today. I've got to go to the Deschetterie. I don't like going. Uh, I haven't even researched to see whether it's open yet, so I'm going to do that first. But there's a big pile of stuff. But uh, I also need uh, to uh, get the angle grinder and angle grind a uh, bit of garden furniture that was left behind. Thanks to all that um, that joined the live yesterday. That was really good fun, so thank you. Um, special uh, thank you to Stuart from Australia. He's, he's asked me not to do the Australian accent anymore. That was more New Zealand. Um, but yeah, he, uh, he got up at like quarter past three in the morning, Australian time, to join in. So that was, that was amazing. I think we're going to do them on Saturdays in future. So uh, if Stuart does want to uh, pop along or anyone else from Australia, he, he wants to get involved, <laughs> you can do at three o'clock in the morning. We've got the lady from the um, SPA coming today um, to check our land, see whether it, it's suitable for, a, for another horse. But uh, I know what next is. And I've listened to your advice. I'm getting some new music. I've spent about an hour looking for it, and it's really hard because I don't like new music. But I found something. It's rubbish. I'm going to put that on now. <laughs> Um, 
Everyone's getting shouted at. Um, nobody knows where any of the stuff's meant to go. I'm not, I'm not English. Uh, I'm the only English person here. But, uh, Bon courage. <laughs> From the dishettery, managed to get rid of all that stuff. Um, she stopped shouting at me in the end. Uh, I'm not even told Lisa about me getting shouted at. But uh, it's because I didn't have a card. You need a card now to go to the dishettery. We'd heard about this about six months ago. Then we heard nothing. And then she had him handed me that. So I need to fill that in. So we can get a dishettery card. Anyway. Got a good love, got a love going to the tip. Right, so back home, uh, it's ne nearly 5 pm. We've just had the, the ladies uh, around from the SPA. We've had a look at the field, yeah, they're quite happy, and it looks like uh, we're going to be getting a uh, horse called L Libertine or Lily. Is it Lily? <laughs> Lily uh, for Wally. And uh, so yeah, they want us to go to, uh, I think it's Poitiers, um, next week to go and have a look and uh, things will then start, start moving forward. So, uh, yeah. I'll see you. What day is it today? Monday, innit? See you Wednesday. Laters.